A new audit shows that the state of Georgia is losing money by offering tax credits to the film and television industry. 11 Alive's Grace King joins us now in the studio to explain. Well, proponents say the tax incentive keeps a thriving industry in the state, but critics worry the money could be better spent elsewhere. This audit from researchers at Georgia State University examined all of that. Action. In Fayette County, Georgia, the film industry is thriving. A big piece of the reason that the industry has grown as much as it has is because of the tax credits. Development Authority President Nikki Vanderslice says their draft study suggests the film industry brought $1.4 billion to Fayette County alone from 2018 to 2022. She worries getting rid of the film tax credit would take that away. The productions come because the investment has been made in our community for the built environment. And if we don't have the productions, then we have um, large spaces that may go unused. The report prepared for the Department of Audits and Accounts on Georgia's film tax credit shows the state earns 19 cents for every dollar it spends on the industry. As a young professional Georgian who pays taxes here, that terrifies me, especially for something in this economy right now that we don't need to be providing these companies with. Jacqueline Harn with Americans for Prosperity Georgia wants lawmakers to eliminate the tax credit. Since we tout Georgia as being the number one state for business, I think it's like nine or ten years in a row now, we don't need to provide unnecessary incentives. Harn tells 11 Alive she'd rather see the money spent elsewhere. It's a billion dollars. Think about how much we can stimulate the economy if we gave that billion dollar batch to Georgian taxpayers. Now, Georgia is among the handful of states that does not cap how much it gives out in film tax credits each year. In 2022, it cost taxpayers $1.3 billion.